And so, it is time to become one with the dark side. And actually, while we are here, I've actually got to put on something a bit more appropriate. I mean, I love ACDC, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you know. However, we have got something a bit more appropriate for this occasion. Oh, oh, baby, that's that's where it is. Ow. And it would be a great contrast from our la last time, ladies and gentlemen, where I went from emotionless to bringing the biggest pile to your screens. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our 50th anniversary celebration of possibly the most influential, the best, and perhaps the most important album in rock history. In prog rock history, or maybe just rock history. It's it's a very difficult one to necessarily assess, to be honest, about its placement or the amount of people that were influenced by this. And I honestly want to say right now for the record, ladies and gentlemen, this I I, I am I feel nothing but relief and feel such a rejoyous sense of adulation for this experience because there is nothing on this earth ladies and gentlemen that could prepare you in fact you know what i'll do i want to make this about as chill as it can possibly get so you know what we'll do this in the uh where, where's the uh oh, here it is here it is Oh, oh, be oh, this looks beautiful. Because if there's one, sorry, if there's one emotion, if it's even remotely possible to conceivably have with Dark Side of the Moon, it is of discovery. A one of my, 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 and, and, and I'll, I'll tell you what, how about we just get started and then we can talk about it afterwards? Because I want you guys to understand just exactly what's going on. So we'll do the first two because Speak to Me is just a minute long and it again it just transitions very easily into the uh, into the second one. So if you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to be one with the dark side. In three, two, one, and
And we're going to stop right there, ladies and gentlemen, because that really is the end of Breathe in the Air. And that was the that was just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, <laughs> to Dark Side of the Moon. And I first want to actually, for as short as it is, I do want to speak quite a lot about Speak to Me, because you hear boom, 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 and then the sound of like a helicopter helicopter pilot. Uh, a guy, a man g giggling, what sounds like, you know, uh, just a, a cash register. And then it, beautifully, because again, if you listen to this on, on a CD or just listen to the whole album all the way through, the transitions this song, th this album does are among some, are so perfectly in, in, in sync and in tune that you legitimately would not even begin to like you know it it really does sort of like play almost like a concept album more than anything which to be honest i kind of do think that's what dark side of the moon is where among other things it's where the reason why they call it dark side of the moon is because there actually is like an entire an entire side of the moon that is always away from the sun no matter where it is uh, out in space so there is always like a patch of the of the moon's surface where it will never see light and i think what works about this is that this is like exploration this is what lurks on the dark side of the moon and that links into the sort of the ideas i wanted to bring up in the beginning about discovery about venturing into the unknown but what about the unknown? What parts of the unknown are we going to discover? Are we going to discover something about ourselves that we didn't realize was in, was in us? Are we going to discover a darker, more sinister side to the world we live in? In fact, we can even go one further and just by discovering that even though there are things of foreign or maybe even of alien abstraction that might be out there in the world we live in right now, it is not a cause for cowardice. It is a cause for rejoice and celebration. I mean, Roger Waters, again, and I think it's Roger Waters. It's been a very long time since I listened to Pink Floyd, I must be honest. Breathe, breathe in the air. Don't be afraid to care. Leave, but don't leave me. Look around and choose your own ground. Long you live and high you fly. And smiles you'll give and tears you'll cry. And all you touch and all you'll see is all your life will ever be. The world is as we see it, ladies and gentlemen. Everything we need on this earth is on this earth. If we choose to succeed tomorrow, we can do it. If we choose to be miserable for the rest of our lives, Earth has enough resources so that we can grant our wish. And then it even goes into, I, I kind of I have a funny, I have an, a, a, a theory about this, about the second part. Run, rabbit, run, dig that hole. Forget the sun, and when at last the work is done, don't sit down. It's time to dig another one. So, and and uh, and it's time to dig another one. For long you live and high you fly, but only if you ride the tide and balanced on the biggest wave, you race towards an early grave. Meaning, you could sit. You know, you could either dig yourself into a hole and pretend that the world exists, or Keeping alive at the world by looking out my window, taking my time. 
Circa, Beatles, I'm Only Sleeping, Revolver, 1967, I think was when Revolver came out. But only if you ride the tide and balance on the biggest wave, you race towards an early grave. You can either go with the flow and do whatever's popular, or whatever seems like the cool thing to do, but is it really worth it in the end when we all end up in that same place? Which, it's a kind of strange balancing act between uh, be between why should you enjoy your life? Would you, should, would you rather die smoking fat and happy or live to a hundred years so you can boast to whoever's still around to listen that you've managed to, through your lifetime of eating nothing but the raw stumps of carrots, that you've added 65 years onto the life of your carcass. What do you suppose sounds more inviting, ladies and gentlemen? Enjoying your life to the fullest, however long it might be, or living to a thousand years old, but being miserable every step of the way. And these are the sort of things, ladies and gentlemen, you see absolutely in just this one song in three, in, in under three minutes. And breathe in the air could almost be like a sin. This could be our, our, the beginning, but also our rebirth. And in many ways, again, speak to me kind of revolves into that because we are brought into this album, but we have almost no idea what's really going on. Kind of like how a baby, when it's born and it first starts to develop consciousness, does it really understand what's going on? But then it begins to take in the world and then it begins to find out and learn through its environment, you know, the difference between not, but the, the most important lesson that any child could ever learn, ladies and gentlemen, the difference between knowing and understanding. But the more we know of this album, ladies and gentlemen, the less we understand it, unless A, we've ever lived that long enough to understand, or B, it sets up a cautionary tale about the sort of things that will happen in the youthful experience many of us have enjoyed and many of us will hopefully live to enjoy. In this racket of a world, it's good to have an album that begins as cool and as relaxing as you could possibly expect. We may be enshrouded, entombed in darkness, ladies and gentlemen, but with friends like us, we are not alone in the dark. In fact, there's only one more thing I just want to add to this. Uh, this, this, this would be a perfect way to actually add this into the end. Here it is. I know it's it's in here somewhere as well. Just I gotta. In fact, you know what? Probably, I'll put it up in the next one because I think it deserves that. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was the beginning of our fiftieth anniversary celebration of Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you stick around for part two coming your way very, very shortly. Take care and bye-bye for now.